the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we celebrate today in the Holy Church the feast of St. Charles Borrowing, who was the priest of the 16th century, a cardinal, a bishop, and the leading reformer in the time of the Counter Reformation. We ask for his prayers today that we may be as intent on learning about the teachings of the Catechism of the Church. Lord Jesus, you are Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you lead us to the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you fill the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed, and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world. Reduce and reign as we do in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. In the light of the grace I have received, I want to urge each one among you not to exaggerate his real importance. Each of you must judge himself soberly by the standards of the faith God has given him. Just as each of our bodies has several parts and each part has a separate function, so, all of us, in union with Christ, form one body, and as parts of it, we belong to each other. Our gifts differ according to the grace given us. If your gift is prophecy, then use it as your faith suggests. If administration, then use it for administration. If teaching, then use it for teaching. Let the preachers deliver sermons, the almsgivers give freely, the officials be diligent, and those who do works of mercy do them cheerfully. Do not let your love be a pretense, but sincerely prefer good to evil. Love each other as much as brothers should, and have a profound respect for them. Work for the Lord with untiring effort and with great earnestness of spirit. If you have hope, this will make you cheerful. Do not give up if trials come, and keep on praying. If any of the saints are in need, you must share with them. You should make hospitality your special care. The word of the Lord. And be to God. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one, I have sworn to David, my servant, I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I have found David, my servant, and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My truth and my love shall be with him. By my name his might shall be exalted. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock who saved me. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my own sheep and my own know me. Hallelujah.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd, and the Good Shepherd is one who lays down his life for his sheep. The hired man, since he is not the shepherd, and the sheep do not belong to him, abandons the sheep and runs away, as soon as he sees a wolf coming. And then the wolf attacks and scatters the sheep. This is because he is only a hired man, and has no concern for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for my sheep. And there are other sheep I have that are not of this fold, and these I have to lead as well. They too will listen to my voice, and there will be only one flock and one shepherd. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. St. Charles Borromeo was born into an aristocratic family in the northern regions of Italy. Through his mother, he was related to the Medici family, that great ruling family of Italy of the 15th and 16th centuries. He was always destined for a career in the church as he was the second son. But he was, first of all, called to Rome as a legislator and an organiser. And he was made a cardinal even before he was ordained a priest. When his older brother died, it was suggested that he should leave working for the church and get married. In fact, even the Pope at the time encouraged him to do so. But Charles saw that his only love was really the church. He began a period of great reformation. He was countering, along with others, the Protestant reformations that were taking place in the UK, and in also in northern parts of Europe, especially in Germany. He called together the bishops of the church and reinstated the work of the Council of Trent, which would become the defining um, model of the church right up until the 1960s with the advent of Vatican II and the reforms that that made. He was a good and saintly man, giving away much of his wealth to the poor of Rome, and also faced great opposition amongst many because of his reforms where he was calling people back to a true following of the gospel. He was even shot at at one point by a Dominican monk who disliked the way in which he was reforming the Dominican order. However, he persisted in his work. He had a great love of his sheep in that sense, as we heard in today's gospel, a great love of the church. Let us following his example in our love for God, our love for Christ and his church. St. Charles Borromeo, pray for us. So let us turn to the Lord with our prayers and petitions this day. We pray for the church on this feast day of St. Charles Borromeo we may always be faithful to the teachings of Christ and the needs of God's holy Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pray for our world and its many needs. Pray for those leaders who are returning to the top 25 summits in Glasgow, that they may put in place the reforms that they have promised to tackle climate change. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pray for ourselves and our dreams of faith. Inspired by the saints, we may walk in the light of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are sick in mind or in body, that they may find healing and peace in the midst of their need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pray for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. For Elizabeth Palmer, whose funeral will take place here next week, and Francis Summers, whose anniversary occurs at this time, and all families who grieve and mourn that they may be given comfort and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we ask for the prayers of men, Queen of the Saints, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and 
Blessed are you, O God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to all, which earth has given unto human hands and made. It will become for us the love, the bread of life. Blessed are you, O God of all Blessed are you, O God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to all. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual truth. Blessed are you, God of all In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you have driven from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and 
eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory.
bring together acts of spiritual and join with those who are still able to attend in person with us. O oh, Jesus, we that you are present in the most holy sacraments of your today. I love you above all things, and the desire to receive you to my soul. Since many parents have spoken to receive you sacramentally, come to be spiritually to their hearts. We gracious if you there already. Unite ourselves wholly to you, never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed. Go for the masses. Thanks be to God. 